Hey, what is up, YouTube? It is Philip M. back again with another knife review. This knife coming from BudK.com, link in the description. Uh, today, we have a Amazon Jungle Survivor Sawback Bowie Knife. Now, as you can already tell from the box, it looks kind of just like the Rambo knife. And I think it was Rambo number two, I think. Or number one with the green handle, long looking blade, sawback design. Everything's pretty much the same. Uh, but this one, however, is a more cheaper version, but still very reliable. And I'll tell you why. Uh, just like the Rambo knife, you know, you got the open hollow handle, which includes a compass, needle and thread, some fishing line, a fishing hook, some matches. Now, as we open the box, as we can see, very nice corded and braided handle. Of course, you have a decent looking leather sheath with a strap that you can tie onto your survival pack or whatnot. Now, from further viewings, we can also tell that it has some decent looking stitches, you know, and it's also fairly good. I mean, you know, the button works pretty well. I can shake it real hard. It's not really going to come out at all unless you really want to damage it, you know. And when you take out the knife, of course, you know, you got nice looking metal or steel, as some people say, AUS-6 SS steel. Uh, it is, however, made in China, which I know a lot of people may say is not a good, you know, brand. But I mean, when you're kind of sort of short on the pockets and you just need something quick, I, I would recommend this. But not if you have enough to spend and it's not you know, something that you need within a quickness, you know? Um, also, this, I got this for around $12, $13 after tax at BudK.com. And if you sign up using your email address, they have lots of different deals, free shipping, flat rate shipping. And they can, when I mean flat rate shipping, I mean expedited shipping for only just one rate. Or they can even have 25% uh, off you know, 30% off, 50% off, 80% off. They have a lot of different deals all the time, every time. And also, if you look inside of this, I can get it open, this handle right here, you can further see, um, now, now the compass uh, actually broke literally just a few moments ago, so I can't show that. But the compass works well. It's not just like a compass for show. It actually shows the directions and everything. Now, as you can see here, it's all bundled up using the string. Focus, focus, focus for me. There we go. And you just have a small little weight. You have the fishing line and the fishing hook. You also have the needles on the other side. The matches are with this weird looking strike pad right here now i wouldn't necessarily recommend using the matches that it has in here but the fishing line the needle and thread those are perfect you know just add like a little bit more thread a little more fishing line so you'll have a decent size but i would recommend getting some windproof matches from your local uh sporting goods store or even um, even a military surplus store they would have those too and uh, because this handle's fairly big, you know, so you're able to shove in a few things before it's actually full to capacity. <clears throat> and, you know, like I said, uh, and actually, you know, you even at Walmart, you can get the windproof matches or uh, just like a small bottle of fluid for like a windproof lighter. You can just shove that in there, too. You know, and then the handle piece, you just screw that back on. If it will. Let me see. There we go. I have got to get a stand for this darn camera. But also, afterwards, you know, and it has a really nice point on it. Still fairly sharp, even after a few uses with some wood out back. And it also has a uh, belt loop. I'm sorry. It also has a uh, belt loop that you could use as well, which is really nice. And, you know, like I said before, it's real good. You know, it's, it's just something... It's a little cheap twelve dollar knife that you know if you need you know if you just need a little something you can. The knife overall is good, but you know the items inside is probably something that you would want to change around and customize. You know that's not really something you really want to just bring with you straight out the box. You know you want to change that around. But other than that, that is the knife review. Hopefully you all enjoy. Link in the description for this knife. My name is Philip M, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.